Decision is in. In just two hours, the world will know. Ferguson is bracing as emergency crews try to prevent violence like we saw over the summer. Meanwhile, local faith leaders remain a support system for that community. Evan Millward, on your side now with what they say happens next. Evan? Well, there was already a rally planned here outside the federal courthouse downtown. That was supposed to be happening right now. It's been moved to tomorrow because of how late this decision is going to come down. I just got done talking to a business leader, community advocate, I Iris Rowley. She has been to Ferguson three times since Michael Brown's death. She's been tear gassed there twice, and her and Pastor Damon Lynch shot some of this video that you are looking at back in August. She says the friends she's talked to in Ferguson describe a sense of worry across St. Louis and St. Louis County. And she says regardless of what the grand jury decides, she hopes that grassroots efforts step up to the table like they did here in Cincinnati after the 2001 riots. The people, the citizens of Ferguson and in the surrounding areas in St. Louis, the county, and all those small towns that are having police, community police problems, in particular the black uh, communities, is that they continue to stand and be present and do not accept no as an answer. To continue to fight for better, make your police department better, stand up for your children and your children's children and make your police department better. And when it comes to safety, here in about 25 minutes, we're going to hear from Missouri's governor. And then again, 8 o'clock our time, that decision will be announced. We're going to be tracking that for you. We'll have the latest throughout the evening on air and on WCPO.com. Until then, we're live downtown. Evan Millward, 9 on your side.